have one umbrella. Alright guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is going to be a bit of a different type of vlog compared to what I've been filming here. Um, if you don't know already, I'm into cars, hence all the Forza videos on my channel and hence why I'm making this video today. Uh, anyway, what we're doing today is we're going to be going to a classic car place and then probably to, I know my Nana wants to go check out Mazda Miatas, so we're probably going to head up to Mazda. Uh, and uh, there's other dealers around here. So anyway, if you're into cars, you're probably going to enjoy this one. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Here we are, ideal classic cars. So this place is right down the road from where I've been staying. I've been passing every day, and I've been like, I have to go there at some point. So I wonder what they have inside. It said over 100 cars. I think they're a car dealership. I already see some in there. Oh wow. registered here and instantly you come in and find a Thunderbird. I've always liked these. I think it's 1957. Yep, 57. Yep. It's got a V8 in it. Man. So you've got the Toyota Land Cruiser over here. I've always liked these cars or trucks. Here we go. We've got some AMCs. The AMXs. Then we've got a Prowler, Plymouth Prowler. I've always liked these. And then at the end, here we go, German car. Yes. I've always loved Porsche. I mean, I love all these cars. American. I like American, but Porsche, I've always liked too. But man, look at these calipers. It's huge. It's like as big as someone's head. Hand, as long as someone's hand. And then over here, we've got a bunch of movie cars. I don't know what that saline's from. You guys, if you guys know, let me know. But I'm not sure what this is from either. But it's got <laughs> fake machine gun on on it. Mystery machine. All oh, gotta know what that is. Someone converted their car into a Star Wars land speeder. We've got Herbie. Got Lightning McQueen. I want to know what this car was originally. I think it, it's probably a Mitsubishi GTO. That's what it looks like. Then we've got. I'm not sure what this is. What this. Yeah, I think they've got the wrong one on there. A Mitsubishi 300 GT SL. So I was close. I was close. We've got Speed Racer and Batman down here. And then the Knight Rider car on the end. That'd be cool if they could get that to light up right there. Yeah, this is a, a pretty big place. I've got a lot of cars to look through. Now, there have been ton of a ton of golf carts in the community I've been staying in lately. I think this would be a great addition. Ford oil filter in a Toyota Land Cruiser. Seems legit. Oh my gosh, it's the little details like this that makes this place so incredible. 
the old propaganda and car parts. Awesome. And these guys, these guys are like, oh, I wish I had a face like that. Now you have to forgive me, I don't know too much about some of these cars because I'm not from the era of most of these cars, but I know a lot about them, about cars, like the brands and stuff like that. And I know that this car, oh my gosh, I love Firebirds. I love GM, so I might be a little biased on this, but oh, the old Firebird, love them. Look at that. You never see engines like this anymore, never. And then next to the Firebird, Bam. We've got the Batmobile. It's got parachutes on the back. Probably movie props. Never really used. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Now, they have that Firebird back there, but they also have a GTO. Oh, my gosh. They've got everything here. And this thing's got chip foos wheels on it. It would look pretty good on it. Falling back here on Monte Carlo. My neighbor has one of these. He drag races it. Camaros. All GM right here. British car fans out there. MG. MG. I'm not sure what model this is. Sorry about that. Wow. TF 1954 right next to a bunch of Mustangs there we go so all the British car fans soak it up and then look at that two GTOs man these guys have everything I wonder how much this whole inventory is worth it's got to be like somewhere in here somewhere somewhere in the millions at least plus the big place uh, these trucks, Chevy trucks. Oh, the old 2001 Viper. It's already been sold. I wonder how much it went for. Got another Porsche here and another one over there. And with all the motorcycles, but that's not as cool as what's over here. So Bugatti's probably a name that everyone knows, but oh my gosh. The original. Buyer's Guide. So this one's for sale too. Oh my gosh, this is like a three million dollar car right here. This guy's having the time of his life. This is probably one of the most weirdest, most interesting, most unsafe cars ever. VW thing. Oh my gosh. Look at this thing. I mean, this this just screams hipster right here. I bet you this whole video, whole place screams hipster. More Firebirds, yes, yes, and there's the Camaro D28. Man, I wish I knew what model this Porsche was. I don't know if this, if this was a special like racing type or if this was modified. Who knows? Oh my gosh, look at this. This is, I think Myers. I think is the company that makes this. I know it from Forza. It's in Forza. Is this an Indian? No, Harley, Dave, Harley Davidson with a big trunk. There's an old Mercedes over here. Oh my gosh, look at these horns. Oh, and I love this. The pipes, you can see the pipes coming out of the headers. A strap for your hood. So wait a second. There's one big pipe back here and then three other pipes up there. Hmm. It's a little fishy. Look at these paddle shifters. I don't know what Porsche was thinking, but it's not like any other car that I've ever seen. Put them on the steering wheel. Hmm. Personally, I get the manual anyway, instead of the auto. If they have, I, I don't know if they did do a manual for this, but that would be very fun. Look at these, look at these scoops in the wing. As if a Porsche wing was not aerodynamic enough. So that was Ideal Classic Cars. If you want to go check them out, they have a website. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, now we're heading off to Mazda because we want to check out some of the Miatas there. 
and hopefully we make it before it starts raining. There's an older one here. Uh, that side's unlocked. It's unlocked. I sat in a new one the other day. I sat in a new one the other day. Let's see if I fit in this. Oh man. The the newer one is much more spacious than this. Like if I close the door. My leg is like on that if I wanna try to hit the if I wanna hit the clutch. If I wanna hit the clutch when I'm shifting. Oh my gosh, I'm on top of the wheel, man. Everything's so Yeah. I think I take the new one. Look at these calipers on this. Brembo's. I did not know they put Brembo's on the Miata. All blacked out. That looks nice. Oh man, this is the new retractable hardtop. I love these things. They look good. They look better than the normal ones. But if I could have one in this color, yes. Is that 240? Well, 240SX with a big exhaust on it. Button right down there. All right. The button. Oh, that's the trunk. Yeah. All right. This is the new hard top. So leg room is much better in this one. This is the auto. I get the manual, but it's got paddles. It's nice. So my dream one of these would be retractable hardtop in that color with the splitter and the BBS wheels and all the sports stuff on it, but the retractables, oh, I like them. I like them. Oh yes, here's one with an auto. Take a look at this. This one is not a retractable hardtop. Feels very nice. Oh, man. I actually have a lot of lag. I wonder if the seats back far or farther or what. The interior looks nice. I, I do not know about that. That looks very flimsy. But eh, it's a nice car. I like it. Oh my gosh. This thing has like no headroom or legroom. This is a lot smaller than it used to be. Where's the? But you know it has the. It has the. Look best. at the. Look at the space back there. How much space does the Mazda three have? Oh wow. So this is pretty much the same space as that, except yeah, is. this is a hatchback and that's an SUV. I've got, got the official Miata RF book. In 20 years, this will be worth something. Does this have sport modes now? Hmm, I wonder how much sportier it actually gets. What is this thing? A Mazda 5, but it looks like a van. But it's too small to be a van. What in the world? Seats are really high. Hyundai Veloster, show me what you got. Oh gosh. They used enough red in here. That looks very uncomfortable. And it's an auto, of course. But, I mean, seating, I mean, it's pretty nice. It's got some luxury things. But it's a Hyundai, and it's going for 14000 So it only has one back door. Yes. It only has one back door. Oh, gosh. I'm going to hurt myself doing this. I pretty much, yeah, I touch. I deserve the front seat. Oh, gosh. Why aren't any of these sporty little... Ow! Compact cars made for tall people. Alright, we got one more stop today. Alfa Romeo and Fiat. 
See, this Volvo is nice. C30. And there's a Jeep. Is it unlocked? Nope, it's locked. It's a hatchback, too. Yeah. Barth 124 Spider. Does it set Brembo's on it as well? Yeah, Here we go. Right. No. I think they're easier to get in and out. Of. Oh, sure. It's not, got you don't look fancy cool like you have a hard time things. getting in and out of Recaro it. seats. Oh, they've got the red speedometer. That's the uh, that's, that's the thing. That's neat. Just a bad looking car. Yeah. It's definitely a nice car. I love these things. I wish I had a quadrifolio version. Yeah? What's on there? Every factory option. Every factory option, so it's Everyone. loaded. What is this? Oh, the giant Fiat. Yeah. Oh, I have to say this. What is this one called? The L? 500X. Okay. So this is Fiat's take at a crossover. Alright. The seats are nice. I haven't really been in too many Fiats in my life, but all right, I approve. All right, let's see. Does this feel better in the driver's position? Uh, the Recaros, yeah. Hmm. Does it look like it's mean, I mean, the five machine? Nope. Lean, mean. It's a point. It's a sleeper. Alright guys, that's all I have for today's vlog. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Uh, if you've got any car guy friends, car guy or car girl friends who you think would enjoy this video, make sure to go tell them about it. Um, I'd like to give our videos a bit more exposure to get more subscribers. And I have a big variety, but I'm starting to do more things with cars. And if you... It, if you want to help gain, have the channel gain more subscribers, make sure you go do that. If you also want to have us gain more subscribers, make sure if yourself, if you're not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you next time. Goodbye.